good afternoon. It is Monday and that means it is a new weekly reading vlog. It's Monday, it's a new week and my voice is just going. My throat feels so sore and I feel like death. But this time at least it's not illness. It's because I went to see Busted on Saturday and it was such a good show and I sang a lot and now I'm suffering the consequences but yeah that was such a good show I was so so excited I can't even tell you um so yeah it is Monday I'm off tomorrow as well we're off work today off work tomorrow because my body is not my body is not up for this um but yeah, I thought I really need to start the vlog at some point. I've still got to edit the one for this week. Um, at some point, I'll probably do that once Kay comes in. Comes in. I can't talk. I'll do that once Kay comes in. Because I'll give her the TV. I'm currently watching YouTube, my watch letter list. I've got like five or six videos to go. And I've just received book mail. This is Our Darkest Night. This is a historical fiction Um about a woman, Nina, who is an Italian Jew and she's hiding in the countryside um, as the bride of this man, a man who she's never met. So it's like a, it's really weird, it's like a romance based on the background of World War Two, just to give it that extra boost. Um, and Nico was supposed to be, he's the, the, the guy, um, he was supposed to be trained to be a priest and then the war started and then he went home to help on his parents' farm and now he's trying to look after Nina by pretending to be her soon-to-be husband. But obviously they are... I feel like they're going to fall in love. And yeah, he's also... He's Italian um, and lives in Italy but is against the fascism and the Nazism and all that. So this should be really interesting. Um, I should say this is from Ashlau for my birthday. And... Um, I am actually really excited to read this. I forgot I had this on my wish list, but it's, uh, it's blurbed by one of the mo one of my favorite historical fiction writers. Um, she says I've only read one of her books, but it was fantastic. And yeah, I'm really excited. So thank you so much, Ash. Like I am really excited to get to that. But I will be continuing to read the magicians because I've not gone any further, and then I'll be moving on to something else. I've got five books left from my TBR. I've got half the month left. Hopefully, I can also read. Um, there was something else I wanted to read, but now I can't remember. So, I know. We shall see. But I'm gonna go now because I need to flump on the couch. Good morning. You can probably hear that my voice is finally gone. I sound like I don't know what it sounds like out loud, but to me, it sounds like if a bee could talk. In my head, that's what it sounds like. It's so, like, it's upsetting my throat so much that I've got, like, stuffed up sinuses and stuff. It's not a cold, like, I don't have anything else. It's literally, literally just a sore throat and, like, stuffed up sinuses because, like, inflammatory reactions and things like that. Anyway, um, so the guy came out to fix the boiler today, so it was it packed in again, um... And it turns out it was just a drainage pipe issue. So the drainage pipe wasn't quite... It's not at the angle it should be to drain away properly. So any sediments just, like, getting a chance to lay on the pipe. Um, so we cleared the pipe out and got it back working again. Bled all the radiators to make sure they were working. Turned on the heating um, to test it. But I think he turned it back off because I'm cold again. I think I might have to go turn it on because I'm really cold. And it's hurting my throat more. Um... But I'm just watching some YouTube. I've got some more videos to watch. And then I'm gonna... Maybe a raid. It's like, it's not even 11 o'clock in the morning yet. Um, a part of me wants to go back to sleep, but I'm in too much pain to go back to sleep. Like, my shoulder really hurts, and my throat really hurts, and my face really hurts. And I like my face hurts because of the cold. Do you know when it's really, like, the air's really cold, and then you breathe in and it, like, hurts your face? I think that's what's happening. Um, if you're laughing at my voice, I don't mind. Like, I know it sounds, it probably sounds a bit daft. 
Um, but I need to put wash. I know I need to put washing on. I need to put washing away. I need to put books away in the library. I need to tidy. There's so much that needs done. It's not all going to get done because I'm not physically able right now. Like, my left shoulder really, really badly hurts. It's actually helping, like, having it up like this. Um, having my arm up like this. I should probably find my sling and put my arm in the sling for a while to let it rest. But I don't remember where to put the sling. I do have a dedicated cube thing for all of my braces and stuff. But whether I've put it back there is another story. So, but yeah. Um, I have stuff to do and I'm not going to get it all done and I know that and I'm like I can deal with that but um, I do want to get some reading done like I've still got a few books to read and I remembered last night the book that I wanted to read um, I wanted to reread The Martian. That's what it was. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I might get another cup of tea. Turn the heating on. Put my tea on. Yeah, I can't guarantee I'm not gonna fall asleep because I feel like crap. I need to wait like another wee while before I can take paint colors. So, and then I'm back at work tomorrow. Woo! Good evening. It is Tuesday. Um. I'm in bed, obviously. I'm 182 pages into this. Of like 400 and something. Yeah, nearly 500 pages. And I feel rough. Um, You can hear my voice is so rough. And my nose has not stopped running all day. I feel like I need a good sneeze. Like, I feel like I could sneeze. Like, well, just like sort my sinuses out. But that's not going to happen. Um, And I fell asleep in my chair earlier. Because I just felt rough. So I kind of napped for like half an hour until Kay came in. Maybe 45 minutes at most. Um, I've got work tomorrow. So here's hoping I'll feel better for then. It's only like, it's only like 20 past nine. Um, and I've come to bed. And I plan on reading for a little bit, but I've just been scrolling through TikTok as always. Um... And I've just taken all the painkillers I can take together because I'm just not ugh, feeling great at all. Um, yeah, I just wanted to update you. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I'm supposed to be going back to work today. I'm up for work today. Obviously, I still sound like this and my nose has been running all night and... My throat's been swollen all night, so Kay was like, I think you should take a COVID test. And I was like, there's no way I've got COVID. It's just because I've been, like, screaming and everything at the concert. I didn't even hesitate. I didn't even politely pause before going ping. Like, you know those tests where it's like, heh, <laughs> lol. Like, that's... Is this a joke? Is this a joke? This is the second time in as many months that I've had COVID. I literally had COVID after my birthday last year, last, year, last month. And now I've got COVID again. Like, what is that all about? Why? <laughs> like, I've got a job that I actually like. And would like to go to. And now, now I've got COVID again. I'm absolutely livid. My boss was like, yeah, I think you're, you should come in until one day. And I'm like, that's fair. But I feel fine. Like, I don't feel unwell. I've obviously got this going on. But, like, physically I feel fine. Um, I'm just... I'm absolutely livid right now. I don't even know. Like, I've been so many places. Like, I was up in Aberdeen with Tori, Bobby and Vicky. They've all come from three different places. We could have got it from somebody at the theatre. Could have got it from my mum. I come all the way down to Newcastle. Could have got it from anybody I interacted with in that 10,000 person uh, place, arena. This is why I said I wouldn't do things. This is why I don't do things. This is why I don't leave the house. Now that I'm leaving the house, people are giving me COVID. I'm so bad. Anyway, I'm just up. I'm not had my tea yet. I managed to get 226 pages at the magician, so maybe I can finish that today since I've got nothing better to do. 
Um, I'm absolutely livid. I'm so angry right now. Got my cup of tea. Come back. Gonna watch some YouTube. Okay, so far we don't think has COVID, so she's literally gonna just stay away from me because she doesn't want COVID. Um, which is fair, but I've just tested positive, so I'm I'm just still in the like anger stage of the stages of grief. So I already did the denial earlier on, so <sighs> I'll date you later. So there's an inconsistency. Like there's a person. He's supposed to be stuck. Like nobody there. He's supposed to be stuck. Like he's supposed to be stuck on his own. He's fallen down a ravine and he's stuck. And <laughs> there was just a person. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to show you that. I thought it was very funny. Um, I've not read anything yet. I'm still watching a wife Bible, as you can tell. Um, feeling. Like crap, I'm so mad. I'm still so mad. I've also realised I've also realised that I can't go to Bobby's murder mystery thing on Friday. I was meant to be going to Vicky's no, going with Vicky to Bobby's show. Like she's doing a murder mystery show. And I was really excited because you get to guess at the interval if you you could you just try and guess. It's like live Cluedo with like a theatre company and you get like an afternoon tea and I'm so mad. So mad. like you have no idea how bad I am right now. Hello, happy Friday. I'm still alive, mostly. Um, I had a horrible day yesterday and a horrible night. Um, I ended up with a really bad fever and I was really, really unwell. Um, I was like this close from going to hospital because of, like, I was so warm. Like, I was, I had a fever and I was sweating buckets. Um, and I went downstairs and at like three in the morning because I, I needed to pee um because I've been like fluids 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 um I got downstairs and I looked at the mirror and I was white as a sheet uh, my lips were blue like I couldn't even see the color of my lips that were like um completely blended to my skin and then like I had a blue tinge along like there um my fingernails were blue and not just, I was in the key, I wasn't like a purpley colour, they go when my brain noise is bad, but like this kind of like blue, like this pale, pale blue. Um, and, but I was roasting. I, I felt like I was on fire, but my body was obviously really, really cold. It was like Defcon 5. Like my body was just really, really not having it. Um, and I kept hallucinating sounds, like I was, I kept hallucinating that somebody was knocking on the door. But there was nobody at the door because it was like between 2 and 6 a.m. Um, that I kept waking up hearing this noise. And it also sounded like, you know, when you're right next to the door and they're knocking on it. That's what it sounded like. I was standing next to the front door and they were knocking on it. But I was upstairs on the opposite side of the house. So there's no way like that was actually happening and nobody else in the house heard it. And Kay's sleeping in the library right now so she doesn't catch COVID. And that is right above the door. So she would have heard it um, if somebody had been knocking on the door at that time. So it just wasn't happening. Um, and I was having like really weird fever dreams. I don't remember what I was dreaming. But I kept like sitting up in like <gasps> like panic mode. And like um, I very quickly realised where I was. So that was fine. The only reason I didn't end up in hospital last night is because I was I was fully cognizant of what was going on. Like I knew I could say to myself, right, this is what's happening. Um, like my movements, my mobility and stuff was still normal. Um, I wasn't stumbling or or any more than usual. I wasn't like, you know, when you reach for something, you're out of it and you can, you miss it. And so I was totally fine that way. It was just this fever, and I was like, right, you're just gonna have to like tough it out until this fever breaks. Um, I still think I look. I don't know how I look on this screen, but um, I still look really, really pale. Um, I've not really slept, and if couple of days couple of days um i'm still quite stuffed up i do have decongestants but i think last night they were making my heart palpitate so i've not taken them today just to let them get in my system see if that makes it any better um but yeah and i've even had paracetamol and it's not bringing the fever down it wasn't bringing the fever down last night either and i can feel it going back up like my feet especially i can feel it like I, do you know when you could just tell um, so yeah, hopefully tonight's not as bad as yesterday was. Um, but I have not read anymore. I've been sitting here 
watching Hawaii Five O, feeling sorry for myself, drinking water. Um, I actually need to get a top up because I'm out. I can't taste anything. I can't smell anything. Um, but I don't know how much of that is because like all this is all swollen up or what. But yeah, this vlog's not going to be very interesting. It's just me uh, with COVID. But um, I also have like so much of my TBR left to read that I don't think I'm going to manage it this month. Uh, there's a there's a there's a possibility, but I really don't think so because I've got work next week. Obviously, um, I'm almost. I took a test today and it's a paler line, so I should be back to all. It should be like negative by Monday, so I've got work. I'm my little brother's birthday on Monday, and then I've got the Kate Moss event on Tuesday, hairdressers on Wednesday, and then Spoops comes up on Thursday evening. So I'll be spending the weekend in Edinburgh with them and with others, and it's going to be a busy week, so I need to get like back to normal. Um, the only benefit is that the fever... <laughs> Has actually been helping with my joints because heat really helps my joints so the joint pain the like the regular joint pain's gone there's joint pain from like when i'm feverish like i can feel the the, the aching like the flowy type aching but the normal joint pain that i have is kind of gone down because of the heat from my body is like almost helping which is totally weird um but yeah, I I feel really rough. I feel really, really rough. So Kay's been staying away. Um, I've been staying away from Kay. Like, I've not been going in the same room, like, into the kitchen. If dinner's ready, I'll wait till she's out of the way to go get it. And I'm just trying not to infect her. Mum's also got COVID. My mum, um, thankfully, nobody else has it. And she's kind of, like... She's either a day behind me or some in symptoms, or she's not got it. It's like the same. Um, so I mean, if she ends up having a bad fever tonight, then yeah, she's just a day behind me in symptoms. But I feel horrendous. Just yeah. So sorry, this segment's been so long. I felt like you deserved some kind of update. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to put a video up today because how how could I really um. I am not in any position to be trying to think of anything to say about books. Um, my voice is gone, my throat hurts. Like, I just... God, I look awful. I don't know if this is going to, like, come up on the video properly, but I look absolutely horrendous. I feel like I look like I've got one of those old age filters on, but it's just because I've not been sleeping and I've got a fever, so... Send, send the good vibes. I mean, by the time you see this, hopefully I'll already be over covid um, and next week is going to be a much better week because I get to see people that I like. Um, I get to meet one of my favourite authors of all time. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Tell me it's going to be great. Good afternoon. It is Sunday, finally. Um, I'm feeling a wee bit not good today. I'm having a day. Um, I mean, I've been having a week. But... <clears throat> The week is finally over. I have tested negative now for COVID and I feel better in general. Um, I've just washed my face with like my proper like the CeraVe stuff. So like I washed my face twice with soap and then washed with the CeraVe stuff and left it on for like a few like half a minute to like really go in and then put moisturiser on. So my face is a little bit like I don't know, like, chemical burnt? I don't know. <laughs> Not, like, chemical, but, like, it goes like that once I've used the thing because my foot, my skin's, like, raw. I don't think that's meant to happen, but it's fine. It'll go down in a second. And, like, I'll go down in a few hours. It's fine. It's fine. I probably need to put more moisturiser on, to be fair. But, yeah, I did this because I have to shower. Uh, normally, I'll wash my face when I go in the shower, but if I can wash my face before I go in the shower, then I don't need to do it in the shower and it doesn't take me as long to shower. Take short every time I said shower, don't, just kidding, it will kill you. I was meant to be on breakfast sprints, but I woke up today and I was just like, nope. I'm just having a whole, like, COVID has really, really kicked my ass this week. And t 
to top things off. Don't care if this is TMI because it shouldn't be taboo. Um, to top things off, I got my period. Um, I've been getting cramps since Saturday last week, but there was nothing, and then I got my period like yesterday. Um, so like the cramps, the pain has been unreal. Um, that's why I got put on the contraception, or like the implant. That's why I got it in the first place. I was on the Jag, the Depot, because my periods were so painful. It was like crippling, and now they've come back with a vengeance since I moved on to my implant. You see the scar where the implant went in? A little dot right there. Where's it? That's where the implant went in. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna have to contact the doctor and be like, I need to go back onto the the Jag because I can't. This is not. This is too painful. Um. <laughs> So I've just not been having a good day of it. Like everything is just getting thrown at me, and I can't deal with it. Um. So yeah, I've not, ended up not being on Becca's Spirits today. I've not even done any reading. I've got one more video and a bit to watch on YouTube, and then I'll read. I I've been making my way through the magicians. Um. My TBR is all but done now. Like it's just not happening this month. Um. I'm 388 pages into this, there are 488 pages, so I only have 100 pages left, and I can probably read that tonight, um, but I've got to get like ready for work, get my stuff ready for work tomorrow, and jump in the shower, read 100 pages, like, it's, it's, I feel like I've got so much to do, um, I just need to like, I have like a list of things that I want to get done, but I know they're not going to get done tonight, so I just need to like take a, take a deep breath and take a step back. And just focus on what needs done immediately because I'm just not, like, I don't even know if I'm well enough for work tomorrow, but I don't want to be off work for another day. Like, I don't, I don't want to be stuck in the house feeling sorry for myself as long as I'm not, like, I, I, I'm testing negative so I'm not going to infect anybody. So I'd rather be at work than here and feeling like crap. So, um, yeah, I mean, my boss might take one look at me tomorrow and be like, ouch, go home. Um, and fine if she does that but hopefully she'll let me stay because it's only four hours it's only four hours I get to sit at my desk I don't have to interact with loads of people it's not really busy like it's it's fine it's it's manageable um and I'm just like crawling up the walls I hate I'm actually like I really enjoy my job so when I'm off um and now this is like the second time I've had COVID in two months I'm not be able to go to work I've only worked there since June. This is ridiculous. I'm so mad. Like, um, you had that run at the start, but I really want to get back to work. Um, next week's going to be a nice busy week as well. I've got my little brother's birthday tomorrow. Um, but probably won't be seeing him because mum still has COVID. Um, and then I've got the Kate Moss event on Tuesday, which I'm so excited about. And then Wednesday, I've got the hairdressers. And then Thursday, Spoops is coming up to Edinburgh, so I'll be in Edinburgh with everybody. Hopefully next week's vlog will be much better and much longer and much more filled with, like, good stuff. But this week's just been a bit of a write-off, I think. So I've been really not well. Um, I'm really upset that I couldn't get a video up on Friday. Uh, this is the second time, because of Covid, that I've not been able to get a video up on time for my Friday videos. So, yeah. <clears throat> not really happy about that, but hey, it is what it is, so um, we'll just have to live with it, but yeah, um, I'm actually going to wrap the vlog up here because I know I'm going to forget to vlog later on, it's only like 4 o'clock, and I just know I'm going to forget to vlog because I've got, like I say, I've got stuff to do and I'm not feeling great, so I will just close it off here, um, I don't know what emoji to give you what a shocker what a shocker what to do just give me the little like <laughs> peace sign emoji because that seems to be my my go-to um you know my go-to like thing that i do so yeah give give me give me that if you don't want to leave a comment or have no idea what to say like i usually don't um so yeah i'm gonna shut up now i'm gonna go um and I will see you in another video.